What is surviving? Well, as we know, the Isle is a dinosaur survival game. And here are two versions of survival I came up with. Staying alive, which means surviving physically, and feeling alive, which means surviving mentally. The Isle, in my opinion, aims for the former. Let's see what each of these mean. Staying alive, which means surviving physically. You would rather escape than fight something. You have peace away from action. You don't really care what you eat. Food is always just food. And you have the mentality that I am okay. Feeling alive, which means surviving mentally, means fighting to stay alive. You take action to earn your peace. You have the mentality that earned food is better, and you have the mentality that I am not bored. These are just two ways to look at what survival means, in my opinion. Now, why did I say the Isle aims for the former? Because of a statement made in the community, both by players, but also by the developers. You cannot make players behave like dinosaurs, because players are not dinosaurs. They are human beings. Out of my memory, I remember hearing developers talk about this, but this also appears inside the community. Nobody can make people behave like dinosaurs, but the Isle does aim to do so. But by doing this, who are we to say it doesn't come with consequences? If we compare Evrima with Legacy, we can all agree Evrima is better. But at what cost? The cost of being forced to behave as a dinosaur more and more with each update. In Legacy, for example, players had four things to worry about. Damage, which includes bleed and bone break, turn radius, speed and health. Every dinosaur back then had these things to worry about, and the rest was player choice. Where to go was player choice, where to nest was player choice, you get it. Carnotaurus, for example, no more biting everything with left click, but have to use the horns ability now, thus making the player feel like and behave as a Carnotaurus if they want to succeed. Herrerasaurus, no more biting everything with left click, but have to utilize the climbing mechanic if you want to do that extra damage, making you behave and feel like a Herrerasaurus if you want to succeed. Just two examples where players are now forced to behave and hunt with a dinosaur's abilities if they want to be successful as that specific dinosaur, thus making them behave more as dinosaurs. In Legacy, when a spot got boring, the players decided to go and search for better lands to settle on. In Evrima, Players have migrations to worry about. They either follow them or they are forced to suffer. Migrations are basically dinosaurs having this sense inside of them to go where they know they will find food. If the player tries to not follow these instincts, they in the end go against behaving as a true dinosaur, but more of a human playing a dinosaur. If they choose their human behavior over their dinosaurs, they get punished for it. In Legacy, nesting was as simple as putting a nest down wherever you wanted and just having babies. In Evrima, you have to build a nest now, and while I think this was added as a cool mechanic, it also reminds players that nothing comes for free. Having to gather the resources for the nest, and then, as kids grow up, having to not only manage their own diets, but their kids' diets as well, on top of having to witness that beautiful feeding animation. Combining all of these features with the fact that the developer said, and I think Don said this, that dinosaurs have the option to run away and not always fight, surviving means running away from danger as well, and not only fighting the threat. Not anymore, not like in Legacy. Herreras? They can hide in trees. Babies, they can swim. Dryos, they will borrow. What animals do in nature is survive, and that means physically, because that is what animals do. Snakes, for example, go weeks or months sleeping or relaxing and only hunt very rarely. Crocodiles do the same. Cows eat grass all day and then sleep. All over nature, animals behaving like animals means boredom for us humans. Because we know there is more to life than that, but they do not. Thus bringing back the same discussion. We will never make players behave like dinosaurs, because players are not dinosaurs. 
and by forcing all of these amazing mechanics, yes, they are thought out and cool in my opinion, onto us players, that is what gives us that feeling when playing the aisle that something doesn't feel right. Even though the game is amazingly done, beautiful and full of mechanics, the game just makes you be a dinosaur, act like a dinosaur and behave like a dinosaur, trying to remind and force you to act like one most of the time while playing the game. No matter what you do or where you want to go, no matter what choice you make, you have to make the choice that your dinosaur would make or suffer because of it. The Isle is a beautiful game full of mechanics but it forgets that the person sitting in the chair playing it is not a dinosaur but a human being with thoughts and choices way more complex than any animal or dinosaur out there with needs way more complex than just survive physically. In my opinion playing the Isle feels like driving a Tesla or any new electric smart car. You start the car you get it going and there they are all these mechanics of the car that know better than the person sitting in the driver's seat. The speed limit is this and I won't let you break it because I know better. You won't fit there so I will break for you because I know better. The driver is there but are they really driving? How much choice does the driver have now? Seems like a lot but in reality is it just an illusion? Is driving actual driving if all you have to do is hold the steering wheel and the car will do the thinking? That is how the aisle feels for me. It's a beautiful amazing game but as soon as you spawn in, I start feeling detached, that if I choose not to follow my migration, I get this feeling that that is wrong. Just like trying to go against Tesla's safety features, trying to turn the wheel when the car specifically tells you not to. Now, if you choose your instincts over the game's instincts, it just feels wrong. It feels weird. It feels like you're there holding the wheel of the game, but are you actually playing it? Or are the safety features of the aisle playing the game for you? You're just there holding the wheel and if you decide to go against the game, you suffer because of it. Just like driving isn't as it used to be, the Isle of Rima isn't what Legacy was. It's more beautiful, more thought out, more worked on, but we're not playing it. We're just assisting our dinosaurs into being dinosaurs. We're just there to hold the wheel. We will never make players behave like dinosaurs, because players are not dinosaurs. And maybe that's a good thing, and we shouldn't try to. Thank you for watching.